as you are familiar with electrode potential now you know that what the tendency of an electrode to gain or lose electron is electrode potential right and the one which has a tendency to lose oxidation electrode potential and the other which has a tendency to gain electrons that means the reduction electrode potential moreover you also know that the electrode potential value depend upon three factors out of which one is the nature of the metal and or the ions second the concentration of the metal and the ions and third is the temperature right so it is clear that electrode potential uh, definitely depend upon the concentration of the metals and ions and also on the temperature so so that, that means we need to have the value that is the standard electrode potential that means the electrode potential which is measured at standard condition so it is uh, it, it it will be a, it will be fine to call electrode potential as standard electrode potential right so standard electrode potential means the value of electrode potential which is calculated at standard conditions that is at 298 kelvin for one molar concentration of solute so if you get to see electrode potential that means the electrode potential at uh, the, of a given element right but if you get to see the standard electrode potential that means the value of electrode pot potential at standard conditions that means 298 kelvin and for one molar concentration of solute right so this is standard electrode potential moreover you should know that it is not easy to calculate the absolute value for the electrode potential i repeat it is not easy to calculate or you can say you cannot calculate the absolute value for the electrode potential the reason being you are aware that the half cell reaction do not take place independently so how we can cal calculate the absolute value for this thing the electrode of the electrode potential right as we know the half cell reaction do not take place independently there need to be a couple present that means there, there, need, there is a need to be uh, two beakers present, two half cells present in which the oxidation and reduction will occur. Then only we can have the uh, this thing, the value that means we cannot have the accurate value for this electrode potential, right? We need, we, because it is a relative tendency, we can just compare that the, yes, this, the, this is, has a tendency to get oxidized when we compare it with this or we can say it has a tendency to get reduced if we compare it with it, right? So that means it is not easy or you can say it is not possible possible to calculate the absolute value for the electrode potential the reason being one the half cell reaction do not occur independently the second it is a relative tendency that we need to relate it to some other electrode right then we can know the value that means yes it has a tendency more uh, to get oxidized when we compare it with it or we can say it has a tendency more to get reduced if we compare it with it right so that means the absolute value not at all it is going to be uh, well, we cannot calculate in any case right so now the question is, uh, is this, how we are going to calculate the value of electrode potential now? Or how we are going to know that yes, this electrode is going to act as a uh, cathode in this uh, couple or it is going to act as an anode in this couple. As I told you, it is not compulsory that if one electrode is acting as a cathode in this uh, example, it will be definitely acting as a cathode in all the example. It is not like that, right? So that means th there is a possibility that if electrode act as a cathode in this case, it may act as a anode in that case. So that means it will create a confusion and how you will come to know that which uh, the cell you are going to use as uh, anode or which or oxidation half cell or which uh, cell you are going to use as reduction half cell. So in order to come all these uh, confusions or just to make you well versed with the topic, you, I, may, I may tell you and you may be curious to know this that how this electrode potential is calculated or how you just decide that uh, this is going to act as anode or cathode in, which, in whichever case we are talking about. So that means if we want to know that this electrode uh, is going to act as oxidation half cell or reduction half cell, we need to know its electrode potential. It is clear that we need to know the electrode potential value and after knowing the electrode potential value, it will be clear that it is going to act as anode or cathode. Now, how it is, how we are going to calculate the electrode potential value? The question is this now, right? This is clear that we need to know the value of electrode potential, then we will be deciding accordingly that it is going to act as anode or cathode, right? This is, you are clear with it. 
but the question is that how just how we are going to just know the electrode potential value so it is so simple in order to calculate the uh, this thing the electrode potential value we need to have a reference electrode or we you, that means we need to have she that is the standard hydrogen electrode which act as a reference electrode here i have for you it is she or it is called as nhe this is a reference electrode the, uh, with the use of which we can calculate the electrode potential of any cell which we wish to right so what is this she right it is clear it is a reference electrode it is clear to you that it is called as a reference electrode and what is its use it is also clear to you the use is that it is going to give the electrode potential value for the different cells now let us see what this she actually consists of see it consists of a beaker it is just uh, clear to you it has a solution the solution is one molar hcl solution the solution is one molar hcl solution right this is a platinum wire right to which the platinum foil is attached there is a tube right through which we are bubbling the hydrogen gas right i think this she arrangement is clear to you again a beaker a hcl one molar hcl solution a platinum wire and can be a copper wire as also right a platinum foil attached and uh, the hydrogen gas is just bubbled through it now what uh, what information it is going to give us uh, or what changes it is going to show when it is connected to any kind of cell right so if we uh, use this reference electrode to calculate electrode potential of any other cell then what happens if it act as a node because it it also uh, there is a possibility that it act as a node on connecting to another cell or it may act as a cathode and accordingly the chemical reactions are going to take place right so if it act as a node then what is going to happen obviously it is going to undergo oxidation you know that that in case of electrochemical cell the the one which act as a node undergo oxidation so same is applicable to this case that if it act as a node obviously it is going to undergo oxidation right so this is what i'm showing here with the reaction oxidation means we have a hydrogen gas it will lose two electrons and it will forms two hydrogen ions right so if you get to see this kind of reaction occurring that means it act as uh, it is undergoing oxidation and it act as a node and the other cell which is attached to it will act as a cathode right but if in case we get to see this kind of reaction in this that we get to see on cathode that is the reduction that is just opposite to it that if we get to see that these hydrogen ions just combine to form hydrogen gas that means they show reduction and we know that the, the the side which show reduction just act as cathode so there is a possibility that when we connect this reference electrode with any other cell it may undergo this reaction or it may undergo this reaction right so we will just see that if it is occurring this react if uh, it is undergoing this she is undergoing this kind of reaction that means it is undergoing oxidation that means this uh, uh, this Uh, this is acting as a node and the other cell which is attached is acting as a cathode that we can separate it, that cell and use in that the, any other couple right and uh, if we get to see that this she this kind of reaction is occurring that uh, for she that means it is undergoing reduction that means it act as a cathode and the cell which uh, is attached to it may be acting as a anode so we can just detach the combination and we can use in any other couple or you can say in any other case right and one more thing you get to know because we will be needing a the relative value for the emf right so the you should know and you have to just uh, cling to this fact that uh, the emf value for this she is arbitrarily taken as zero right so the emf for this she is decided to be zero so when you have a combination of this she with other any other cell and whatever reading you are having for the emf is actually the reading of that cell only because this is actually the this the emf for this cell is actually a zero right so that means the whole reading which you are going to get in the combination when you are attaching this she with some other cell that is going to be the value for that one the other cell only right it is not for this because it's value is taken as zero right one more thing you need to know that whenever the oxidation is taking place 
whenever the oxidation is taking place or where the reduction is taking place right so electrode potential uh, or you can say the oxidation electrode potential value is always taken as negative and uh, for the reduction it sorry uh, yes uh, for the oxidation electrode potential is always taken as negative and for the reduction it is always taken as positive so we'll be just using the terms also and i'll be showing you with an example that how this uh, the, the this thing the standard hydrogen electrode is used to calculate uh, this thing the electrode potential of any other cell 